Hi, I'm Oliver from Coconetics, and today I got a package from a friend in France, Cyril. Uh, he was kind enough to send me one of the first iPhone 4s. Uh, I had ordered it in France because I didn't know whether Austria would get uh, sufficient shipments. Turned out Apple uh, sent enough iPhones everywhere in the world so that everybody got, got his uh, iPhone 4s. Uh, but still, it's nice to get iPhones from other countries. So let's open this up. Um, I had Cyril also get me one of the bumpers and as you will see this is one of the new universal ones that has a larger hole so that it fits the iPhone 4 as well as the 4 okay. mm -hmm. I'm getting Apple Care right of it poor iPhone container and you have stacks of these, yeah, so you can have twice as many iPhone 4 S's in one shipping container when you ship these from the factory from Foxconn. So that's smart. Okay. iPhone 4 S. Foil at the top. You have foil at the bottom. Protect the glass. I got the black one, my wife got a white one. So, have a look what else is in here. We now have the, the new flatter European charger, which is just like a plug. Um, a USB cable, a new headset. I, li I like these because they are much, much less bulky. Uh, I think this is also one of the reasons why I could make the whole thing smaller. Okay, probably just some paperwork, SIM changer, a bit of yeah, stickers. We still get stickers. We don't get a cleaning cloth anymore, but we get stickers. Do do what does do says? Yeah, if I only knew French, then this would explain some of the workings of the iPhone. So. <laughs> That's it for the paperwork. Let's get to start work on this. Um, one thing to, to have a look first is I, I want to see if this bumper uh, actually fits. I was kind of nervous when I saw them on, on, the, on the store because they always just said uh, iPhone 4 bumper. Um, and I had an iPhone 4 bumper on uh, actually the camera that this is now being recorded with, uh, and it the hole wouldn't fit. Yeah, but uh, Apple changed the position of the mute switch for the Verizon iPhone, uh, and it's said to be the same now for the 4S. And so you can see that the mute switch is now a little bit off to the side. Uh, the same bumper would fit for an original iPhone 4, there the mute switch would be more to the right. So it's a bit, bit of an un-Apple-like solution, but okay, it gets the job done. And after a while you probably wouldn't notice that you have some, some kind of this, this off to the side. Huh? Okay, take this off again, just for the initial inspection. So, what does it say here? Some prolonged balloon, then I have to look what this means in French. It probably is some sort of warning or so. Um. Aha, okay. <laughs> it means uh, at full power, prolonged listening to the player can damage the ear of the user. Means if you're listening to, to loud music, then that might damage your uh, uh, thing. 
probably the year. So, almost safe. Uh, yeah, what else? It doesn't look distinctly different from the iPhone 4, except if you know that the mute switch is a different position. So, turn it on. I've always been saying that the iPhone 4S was delayed because of iCloud, because I think uh, Apple distinctly uh, wants to have people who get their first phones in the form of the iPhone 4 to also have iCloud with it in the package, so that they immediately sign up, or um, uh, if they already had converted their accounts to iCloud before, to have the uh, simplified experience of of activating and, and setting it up uh, without a PC or a Mac uh, and that's why they, they had to wait. There's a light, nice uh, animation in, at the beginning so let's see if I configure this uh, it tells me I have no SIM card installed um, well for, for this I have to take it out of this phone so uh, back in a second and we're back on the show uh, I've got here the bumper from my original 4S, so let me quickly show you uh, my original iPhone 4. So if we put these next to each other, you can see actually that the, the hole in itself is not really at a different position, but there is an inner point to that, uh, an, an inner uh, area that's cut out more in the universal bumper than it's on the iPhone 4 one. So you probably could just take a knife to that and remove this and you would end up with very much of a similar uh, result here. Okay. Now I've already put my uh, SIM card uh, into uh, my phone. It tells me it's uh, in a valid SIM with no pin lock. I need. So for some reason it doesn't like this one. So I've got to, to change that to another one as well. But let's see if we can continue to do something here next. I want location service next. I have a local network here with a password. And once I'm on the Wi-Fi network I, uh, tells me to try again. Okay, so maybe I put the SIM card in, in the wrong way. Otherwise, because that's that's a cut cut SIM card, might not not like it. Uh, fortunately, I have a replacement one, but. No, it doesn't like this one. So my replacement SIM card I've got here. New new SIM cards fortunately often come with uh, a two two mode variety. You have the large SIM card, but there's also uh, they are also stamped so that you uh, can actually remove the inner part, and then you have a micro SIM card. So we'll try with this one. Take it out again. This one in. I hope this doesn't because initially they are SIM locked, uh, not SIM locked, um, have a pin lock. Okay, now I need a pin. I've got this one here. This SIM it immediately recognized, so for some reason it's a little bit pickier with SIM cards. So, I can try this again, and my iPhone is activated. So, the, the experience that I alluded to before is now that it asks you to set up the iPhone, and you can either set it up as a new phone, then everything is blank, or you can restore it from an iTunes backup, which is the old style where you plug it into iTunes and restore a backup, or the new option here that's immediately um, available is to restore from iCloud backup. Now I've been having my iPhone 4 connected to iCloud since 
probably WWDC and it did do uh, a daily backup over Wi-Fi. So I will have, uh, if you are logging here, and my iCloud password. Okay, next up, terms and conditions, yes I agree, yes I agree, so um, it may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID uh, and once it's done that, it gives me some backups to choose from, uh, I could restore a backup from my iPad 2, maybe older ones, but here's one that, that happened uh, two days ago in the morning, yesterday it, it, it couldn't do any because I was in Germany, but that's good enough. For, for our purposes, so I just hit restore and what it now does is it gets from uh, iCloud all my uh, personal settings for the emails um, it also knows what kind of apps I had installed so it will uh, start downloading all these apps at the same time uh, and well that, that might take a while so uh, it says two minutes okay it's actually uh, moving rather quickly here so we probably can wait for that and while that's happening yeah, um, I'm going to move our way back it's less than one minute um, and I want you to see that when once we're done uh, how it looks Ich nehme gerade auf was. So. Ja. Alright, and we are here, and it's all in German, as you can see. Um, uh, the other thing, yeah, it, it asks me for all these passwords that, that it doesn't actually uh, restore. I'm going to en enter these later. Okay, and the thing that you see here, all the apps I had on before, it's now downloading these. So you see my, my iPhone, once this is done and once I've uh, entered all my passwords, it's exactly at the same position where my iPhone 4 was in, well, two days ago, 4 a.m. in the morning. Uh, but since I've got my emails and my, my uh, contacts and everything uh, on my own server, I'll be good to go. And that's an experience that, I, as I said, um, Apple calls it PC-free. Uh, it's been something that you you would have had with Android phones for quite a bit longer because there you would log in with your uh, Google account. Mm -hmm. Now Apple has got the same with iOS 5 and that's just such a big deal that it caused the delay of the iPhone 4S in my personal opinion. So there you have it, iPhone 4S. Um, unboxing.